Hi my loves, we're going to be doing a pick a card reading today. You guys voted in the community poll and you voted for messages or advice from your future self. So there are going to be three piles. I'll put timestamps in the description box below. Before I do that, before I connect in, um, this is the last reading of the year because next week is uh, the holiday season. I also will be taking a break from my personal readings over Christmas. You will still be able to book on my Etsy store, but I won't be processing any readings between the 23rd and the 27th inclusive of December. So if you book on the 23rd, you won't get it back and still, until I start processing it with the normal turnaround times from the 28th or possibly the 27th, but there will be a delay basically. So if you want a reading before Christmas, you really need to order it now because it has turnaround times. I will also take a couple of days off for the new year. I'll put a note on my Etsy store so it's clear and an auto reply on my messages. But just so you guys have a heads up, um, I know everyone comes at the last minute around Christmas, so please do it before. Um, okay, so these are the three piles. This is gonna be pile one if you're attracted to this sage and this deck. This is gonna be pile two, if you're attracted to this deck and this Palo Santo. And pile three, I think this is called Bear Root. It was given to me by a client. It's a wonderful smudging uh, device, or like sage, basically, but different. And this deck. Okay, so those are the pile choices. They'll be time stamped in the description box below. We're asking today for advice from your future self. I'm gonna connect in now. Connecting in, please, spirit, creating a temporary energetic cord between myself and anyone watching this video across all time and space, showing all chances, changes, possibilities, probabilities, linking into their future selves so that I can channel messages for their highest good at this time from their future selves. Archangel Michael putting me in a bubble of love, light and protection, keeping me safe and protected, my gatekeeper guide, keeping me safe, my team of light allowing me access to do this reading for the highest good of those watching this. Please link them into three discrete, distinct groups for the reading. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. Okay, we're going to start with group one. Let me move these out of the way. So I'm just going to sage, first of all, and see if I get any channeled messages from your future self as I am saging. Sage is the most clearing of the options um, out of these kind of cleansing herbs. So you may need to do some heavy cleansing in your life. I am getting as well for some of you, maybe a need to move or to move on. And your future self is saying, hey, why are you holding on to this old energy, this old idea, this old place? It's like there's a need to release and your future self is staying, saying you didn't gain anything from holding on. Even if you want something to transform and to keep something in your life, you still need to release it. Um, so it, it, your future self is saying that they want you to free yourself from something. I'm getting a kind of eight of swords vibe for this where you need to um, Go within and almost like cleanse yourself of any negative thinking. I'm getting the, um, the hexagram in the I Ching where it's to do with the, it's called the vessel, I think, or the cauldron. And it's all about meditation to rid yourself from um, insecurities. Um, and I'm also getting the well hexagram of the I Ching, which is all about whether or not you can find nourishment from a, a, a well. And the fact that if the well is polluted by negativity or bad thinking, then anything you draw from the well is not going to be clean. It's not going to be pure. It's going to be tarnished. So it's about you creating this clean energy within yourself, this clean wellspring to draw from. So really cleansing yourself of any negativity. You may actually need to cleanse your house and your space. And for some of you, you may, it may benefit you to move um, if that's something you've been thinking about. What does pile one, what does their future self want to say to them at this time? 
your future self is wanting you to get out and celebrate something as well. So if you've been kind of keeping, maybe some of you, it's like this idea of imprisonment that I was getting with the Eight of Swords. It could almost be like bordering on a little bit of an agoraphobic energy where it's like, you've been in your own energy, you need to kind of get, get into the nature or connect with other people to feel free to feel joyful, it's like liberation and freedom after a sense of being constricted. What do they, that's too many, but yes, this one, definitely some of you may be thinking about moving, especially if this is moving overseas, especially if this means you're gonna be reconnecting with some like-minded people or your soul family in some way. Okay, that one is one of the ones that did want to come out. There may be a new offer or opportunity that allows you to move. This may be something that you will be celebrating that is going to bring you a lot of abundance. So your future self is saying, if you're worrying about your career at this time, there's going to be a reason for you to celebrate in the future. And it wants you to embrace that, but it does want you to free yourself from anything that binds you. You see how these people are chained? There may be a need for you to do some cord cutting, definitely a need for you to do some cleansing, to cut out any toxic negative people in your life, but also any kind of obsessional or toxic traits within yourself or things that self-sabotage you. For some of you, I guess this could also be Capricorn energy and with all of these pentacles and stuff, this could be around your career. Maybe you've been working too hard and your future self wants you to kind of get out there and celebrate. Um, it wants you to find a more grounded um, way of being. But also I feel like abundance is coming in for you. For some of you, this could also be around a connection you have with someone who is emotionally attached to you, but they could be a bit in and out of your life. There could be some addictive qualities they have. This may be the thing that you need to cleanse from your life. If this is something that's kind of keeping you back from your, your stability. For some of you, there is a need for you to free yourself literally in terms of you know, being single, being independent. So for some of you, your future self may be saying, find a way to reconnect in with yourself and potentially there is a relationship that's run its course or a job that's run its course or a place that you're living that you should be moving away from. This is a card of moving on and it totally makes sense with everything I was saying about needing to cleanse, needing to release because there's a lot of sadness in this. There's a lot of attachment in this. Um, for some of you, there may be a lot of security in this, but at the same time, it's like there's a choice that needs to be made and there are new ways that the spirit wants you to go. And your future self is saying, you didn't gain anything by trying to hold on to whatever this is. It really, really, really wants you to free yourself. And especially if you're worried about money or about, you know, feeling alone at this time, it's like, you need to go through that in order to have something better coming in. I feel like spirit is gonna bring something in for you. Um, there is some sadness, there is a need to cleanse. For some of you, there could be a new romantic relationship. This could involve a deep soul connection, twin flame, something like that. Um, it may be that you need to release this before it can come back towards you especially if someone is being avoidant in some way or there are any kind of third parties. There's a need to cleanse this energy like irregardless, but I feel like once you make the decision to take this kind of go your own way, I'm hearing you can go your own way, that Fleetwood Mac song, but it's like five of pentacles, these people could be inside the church in a kind of comfortable environment, but they know that it's not for their highest good, so they'd rather be outside in the cold, taking a, wall, a cold walk in the snow. So even though you may feel shut out of something, it's like time to go, it's time to leave, especially if you've wasted a lot of time and energy on this situation. It's not to say it can never come back, but you have to fully release it first. Let's get some Oracle cards to finish pile one. Exchanging gifts. Your future self, it wants you to be open to the things that the universe is trying to show you. It also wants you to focus on the present and not think too much about the past or the future, but to think about what brings you happiness in the present. So I do think there's a need to release the past. The universe is going to be helping you out. I feel for some of you, you may get a good opportunity coming in for you. 
that's going to help you out a lot. It's going to be fated. The universe has your back and your future self doesn't want you to worry about this. But there's something in your life that isn't aligned to you that maybe looks good. It could be a career that on paper looks wonderful. It could be a connection that you've invested a lot of time in. But either way, there's something about it that is not as good as it seems. And it's like you've wasted too much time on it, it feels like, and you need to just release it. Um, message from your future self. Bring love into the situation. So for some of you, this is a love situation, but I also feel there's a need for self-love and healing on this and a need for you to actually take some positive action in the 3D towards shifting this energy. It's not just about you know, thinking it into being, which is part of it, but it's also about you actually taking some action and taking some steps and maybe actually move, movement, moving in some way, some form of movement. There's a need to surrender, there's a need to release at this time. I'm surprised we didn't have the Eight of Swords coming out um, because I feel that energy, but I guess it's because we had the devil, which has come out again from a different deck, which is a similar thing. It's probably more of an extreme version of the Eight of Swords. It's something that is untenable. The thing that is like binding you, that's keeping you trapped, it, it's like you can't stay like that forever. So the universe is going to create some kind of shift, whether you like it or not. So better to go with the change than trying to hold on and then the tower falling anyway. Trust your intuition on this because your future self, there is no past, present, future. Your future self is kind of your higher self. I'm in, in touch with my future self. I, I mean, I live most of my life in the future in a weird way because I have premonitions, but I try not to. But, you know, your future self will be giving you messages now in the present anyway. So it's like listening to your intuition on this. Um, I do feel there's security, stability and financial you know, gain for you. If you're worried about leaving a, a toxic situation with a partner because you're worried about money, it's like, that's going to be fine. Also, for some of you, it's like returning to this childhood innocence you once had, returning to the ideas you had as a child, the things that you wanted for yourself, some kind of innocence. For some of you, this is a deep soul connection you're dealing with, and there's a need to cleanse it of any toxicity in order for there to be the reconciliation that you are craving. That's all I have time for. If you want a personal reading, I recommend you get it before very soon, because <laughs> um, I will be taking a break soon. But uh, much love, light, and positivity. Please like the video, comment if you want um, to get a chance to win a free reading when I get to 3,000 subscribers and wishing you all the best. Take care. All right, I'm just going to cleanse now. And then we're going to connect in to pile two. Let's see if I get any messages while I'm cleansing for pile two. I'm getting third chakra for you, so stomach area, pancreas, your battery, your kind of vital energy, your creativity, your gut instincts. I am strong and citrine crystal are coming through as useful affirmation and stone to work with. Um, there's almost a sense of giving birth here. For some of you, this could be a pregnancy or it could be some kind of creative project. Your future self may be pointing out to you that you need to work with the third chakra more, your creativity, your intuition. Um, and for some of you, you need to be getting adequate rest and things like that as well, so that you're not becoming depleted. Healing hurts stopped and started, so there could be a need to take a pause or something like that, and your future self is saying, hey, slow down, don't burn yourself out. What do we need to know? Messages from Pile 2's future self. I feel like some kind of new offer or opportunity or idea is going to come in for you around your work. And you are going to have a lot of success. So your future self is saying, hey, slow down, look after yourself. Um, new, Lots of new career opportunities and things like that are going to be coming in for you. You may be in the public eye in some way, or if not, you're going to have a lot of success in something. So it's like letting yourself rest before this, this stuff comes in, because it feels like maybe something is going to come in and you're going to have to be, you know, suddenly 
doing a lot for some of you you definitely might be having a child soon so if you if you don't want to have a child and you are someone who could get pregnant um your future self is just pointing out to you that this is a possibility so you know be careful if you don't if you are wanting to have a child your future self is saying it's possible if it's not that you're giving birth to a child although i got that birth thing very clearly um, it could be that, again, this is a card of creativity. So giving birth to a new project, a new idea. This is something that has the chance to expand and be successful. So perhaps you're wondering now, is this idea that I have possible to go anywhere? At the moment, it feels like a small idea. It feels like I'm just starting out with something with my career. Is this the right thing to do? Does this have any expansion? Your future self is like, yes, this has the ability to transform, to grow, something you can nurture, something you're gonna be very successful at. Uh, your future self will be trying to communicate with your present self anyway via your intuition and your instincts. So I would be open to listening to the messages you're receiving around creativity, but definitely think about ways you can work with the solar plexus, especially because the sun card is coming out, which kind of, it, the, the solar plexus is the sun center in the body it's like the dantian in another it's like uh, the dantian is a different form of chakras but similar thing um also for some of you definitely the chance of ch uh, a child in the future or just a lot of success and happiness so these are really beautiful cards and your future self is just trying to say to you look you're gonna have so much happiness you're gonna have so much success you're gonna be connected to your emotions. You may have someone coming into your life, a water sign, masculine energy, but it doesn't have to be someone, uh, it's not gender specific. It could be either a water sign or an air sign. I feel like you're gonna have a choice. Sorry, all the cards have got messed up. I feel like you're gonna have a choice maybe between people. For some of you, this is also just about getting into a more logical side of yourself, a more masculine side of yourself. We all have masculine and feminine and balancing out your intellect and your emotions so that you're not always kind of pointing out the issues in a problem, in a situation. So there could be on one hand, the kind of the dreamy side of you that's having all of these visions and ideas and you're really following your intuition and your gut. And then the logical side of you comes in and it's like, no, but how is that gonna work out? And it's like balancing out these two parts of yourself. But for a lot of you, this is about you maybe as well. This is like another message perhaps within this group. It's like, if you're single at the moment, but you've come into a place where you're, you're empowered, it feels like you are going to have a choice between people in the future. For some of you, this could be a same sex situation. For others of you, it's just that you're going to have a choice. Either way, your future self is saying, hey, get into the energy of being happy on your own. Focus on your career. I feel like there are really good career opportunities that you're kind of planting at the moment that are gonna bear fruit and be successful. Focus on that. Don't worry about love stuff because it feels like it's gonna be resolving itself. For any of you that are feeling lonely and like, am I ever gonna be with someone? Am I ever gonna have a child? Am I ever gonna meet the person, you know? Yes, your future self is saying, please stop worrying about this. Like, you just need to empower yourself. You need to know your value, your worth. I am a sexy goddess queen or I am a sexy god. You know, whatever it is that you need to affirm to get into this energy of empowerment. But also the queen of wands is the creative queen. So there's a message here about connecting into your creativity. Definitely the solar plexus. There's a lot of yellow in this reading. So citrine would be a great crystal to work with. It feels like you're having an awakening. It feels like there's going to be a new life coming in for you. So your future self is just telling you not to worry. I feel like there's going to be a lot of success, especially around career. And you may even meet people that can collaborate with you, especially if you are doing something creative. You know, this is like artist being taught by someone. So there could even be someone that comes in to help you achieve your goals in some way, who puts some finances in or something like that. This is a very encouraging message from your future self. Let's get some oracle cards change in the wind so for some of you this is about doing something different allowing yourself to bend with the kind of blows of the wind of life be like bamboo 
allow yourself to be flexible. Something's going to come in suddenly and it's going to almost feel like it's blowing the stripes off you, like it's unexpected change, but it's good. Um, especially if you feel like you've been someone who's just been observing life and not really, you know, you've been thinking of things, but you haven't really got anything going, you know? And especially if you've been feeling alone. With the Orphaned card and the Hermit card, you will not be on your own forever. You're not always going to be from the outside looking in, seeing everyone else being successful, seeing everybody else in happy relationships. You're going to have a sense of community, belonging, family. For some of you, this really is for those who worry about if they're going to have a child, your future self is saying it's here in the energies. Remember guys, this is not a personal reading and I shouldn't do uh, medical stuff and pregnancy is medical. I don't like doing readings on pregnancy, although I'm accurate for it, unless, like I heard it before the cards came out and I can't ignore that, but you know, this is not a personal reading. So I have to make that very clear. If you want a personal reading, get one from me soon if you want it back before Christmas, because I will be taking a break. But spirit and your future self are trying to say, everything's gonna fall into place. At the moment, you may feel like everything's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. It's a bit like Jenga, like you're always waiting for the shoe to drop. You're always waiting for things to fall apart. Your security, your stability may be in question and you're just worrying about are things gonna work out? Don't worry. Your future self is saying, don't worry. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of happiness. Uh, let's see from some other decks. Messages from your future self. Trust your path. If you knew you'd be supported, what would you do? Especially those of you who want to do something creative and you're like, but what about the money? Or the ones of you that think, am I ever gonna be loved, you know? Just trust your path and trust yourself and get into a place of alignment within yourself and it will all come in for you. Trust the niggle, what's the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Learn to distinguish between your intuition and your fear. Intuition is quiet, it comes out of nowhere. Fear and anxiety are looping and they don't make you feel good. Um, and your, your intuition will only be like that if you're in danger. Otherwise, it's most likely just your fear and anxiety. Um, but don't ignore your intuition, but do not feed your fear. It's like feed the good wolf, or if there are two wolves, which wolf do you want to feed? I can't remember where that's from, but that's what I'm being told. <laughs> um, keepers of the earth, you're not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Your loved ones in spirit may be with you at this time. They may be trying to communicate with you. Um, I do feel that you're going to be getting lots of messages from your higher self and your future self. And for some of you, there's just a need to release any fears. As I said, with, with this card coming out, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. That's all about releasing your fears. You and your loved ones are safe. Maybe you were worrying as well about a child or someone in your family or something like that. Spirit is saying that it's all gonna be fine. Your future self wants you to know it's all gonna be fine, but it wants you to not waste the creative opportunities that are coming up for you. It wants you to rest, to eat on time, to sleep on time, to recharge your battery, your solar plexus is your battery, to ground yourself, to connect into your creativity, and to trust that good things are coming for you. All right, my loves, that's all I have time for. Please like the video, comment for a chance to win a free reading when I get to 3,000 subscribers, and be sure to book a personal reading soon if you want it back before Christmas. All the best and take care. Okay, connecting into pile three. This is bare root, which is a really, I think it's bare root. It's a beautiful cleansing root. It smells absolutely wonderful. A client gave me this. They sent it to me from America. Lovely client. I don't know if they're subscribed, but they sent me some amazing herbs and stuff that I work with a lot. I saved this for special. This is a very esoteric thing. It's very connected to psychic ability. For me, it's very cleansing in a lovely way, but also I think it opens you up. I'm gonna see if I get any insight from this. Malachite is coming through. I don't know if there's any issues with arthritis or your bones, calcium, things like that. But Malachite is coming through as a good crystal. Um, is Malachite a crystal or is that the one that's a meteor? 
can never remember. I think malachite is the black, the silvery black one. I know I use malachite, but I can't remember. Anyway, malachite could be a cr good crystal. Maybe look up the properties of it. I know it's good for the immune system as well, or I'm being told immune system. Um, I just can't remember which one it is. I'm just being told it. Anyway, okay, let's see what we get. I feel like this is about life force, energy, spiritual, emotional, and physical comfort. This is about like mind, body, soul coming into union, all aspects of the self. So your future self, um, I feel you're a very intuitive bunch. I feel there are things you've been seeing that are, are making sense in retrospect. So anything that I say to you, if it resonates, it's like you probably already knew it before it even happened anyway. I think you're in touch with your future self quite a lot. There is no past, present, future. So your future self is basically your intuition from, from my perspective. Um, vowels, the sum of words and vowels. For some of you, this could be, you could be someone who uses uh, writing in some way, spells, you know, um, your word is your wand is, is what I'm hearing, which, which is a Florence Scoble Shin manifestation thing. She wrote a book called The Word, word is Your Wand, or maybe that was one of the chapters in the book. I think it was the book, but it's about speaking things into existence. So things like chanting, using your voice in some way, writing in some way, um, connecting to your heart in that place though, um, it's like channeling because I'm channeling and the sentences are not that complete. So you may not be that, um, you may have good intuition, but I don't know whether you've actually funneled it, your channeling abilities into something that is as good as it could be yet. So your future self could be saying, hey, try to connect more into that part of you because it feels like it's there, but it doesn't feel like it's fully developed. Like usually when I channel, it comes out very fluidly, but because I'm in your future self's energy, it's coming out a bit broken up. For some of you as well, that your future self is saying there's something you need to express as well. Let's have a look now what the cards have to say. Messages for pile three from their future self. I feel like you're going to give and no, you're going to receive something from the universe, but I feel like it's because you've been giving a lot of yourself as well. So it's almost like a rebate in some way, a refund, unexpected money, something coming in unexpectedly that is like a good thing. Um, if you're worrying about money, your future self wants you to not worry about that. Ooh. If you've been waiting for um, a loan or anything like that, your future self wants you to know that this is coming in for you. Especially if you guys are spiritual people who work in a spiritual profession and you're worried about like financially how you're going to cope if things have been difficult. Spirit wants you to know that what you've been giving out will come back to you. I mean, that applies to all of you. So if you're someone who's very giving, you will be receiving in return. It's it's one of the laws of the universe that there, there, it's the law of cause and effect. I can't remember if that's in the Hermetic Principles, it might be called something different from cause and effect. But I think, no, I think it is one of the laws of cause and effect. It's like the more you give out, the more you will get back. But for some of you, you are very fearful around financial things. And this is creating a bit of a block. Because unless you give, you cannot receive. So I always tell clients who are manifesting money, think of ways you can give, even if it's just energetically, even if it's just buying yourself a coffee, which is what I do. It's like when money leaves, it comes back multiplied. Getting into that attitude of giving to receive. It does work. But when you're holding on tightly to something like this, it blocks off that energy. There's some sadness here that needs to be processed. Your future self wants you to let go of sadness and grief and to flow with the energies of life. For some of you, you could have been dealing with a masculine energy or a boss. And again, this is not gender specific, but it's someone who either you think of as divine masculine or who is like a boss in your life. Um, and this person may be very difficult to deal with. Um, and you may have had to be quite defensive with this person. Especially if you are an empath, you may have been giving a lot to someone and not getting enough back. 
the universe and your future self wants you to take a leap of faith into the future. So to release the past and, and let the future in, especially with this card coming out, it's like a catharsis. There's a need to release. Uh, there's maybe past karma that is being released because I feel for a lot of you, you're very spiritual. And so you may have had a very karmic connection in your life. You know, we have karma with everyone. Watch my video on spiritual connections and what they are. But, you know, there's likely karma with anyone that you have a kind of connection with. Whether it doesn't matter whether it's a soulmate, twin flame, whatever you want to call it, whatever you believe in, whatever you believe that connection is, there will be karma, past life karma, might, may, may, maybe. Um, and it feels like this needs to be released. And do you see how I'm getting my words? Like I'm tripping over my words. For some of you, there's a, a lot of sadness you're holding on to that you actually need to speak out and to, to release in that way. Uh, you may need to write down everything you're feeling and burn it safely on a full moon. It's like you're holding stuff inside you that you need to express. And that is the thing that's creating this block this block in your expression um, or this block that's keeping you stuck and sad and once you release it that's when the energies can flow more freely very channeled message for you lot so your future self wants you to know your value and your worth it wants you to focus on your own stability it wants you to be patient with yourself but definitely to know your value to know your worth to know that you are deserving of happiness, love and support and something where there is an equal give and take. There is a lot of happiness coming for you and success, but it's like it's always darkest before the dawn is what I'm getting from these cards together. This is like the dark night of the soul, especially if you are going through a spiritual awakening, you may be experiencing a dark night of the soul. And after that, you're going to come into this place of harmony within yourself and happiness. For some of you, you may feel quite alone at this time, but your intuition is good and you're not alone. You are going through some kind of rebirth and there is a karmic cycle being released. You will be coming into contact with your soul tribe soon, especially if you are thinking of doing something spiritual. It's like connecting to those people that feed your soul. Anything else for pile three from their future self? You need to free yourself because you have so much to express, but it's it's stuck inside you. It's like maybe you are spiritual, but you're not fully in touch with your spiritual gifts. You're kind of, maybe you're scared of them in some way, but it's like you need to find a, a way of freeing yourself a bit more. And I do feel like for this group, writing or expressing yourself in some way will be a very good thing. As well as getting in contact with your soul tribe, having fun with your friends, meeting people that meet your needs they, they will be coming in for you but it's all about you knowing your value and your worth now that the cards are repeating i know that the message is done but let's get some more oracle cards for pile three conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse so this is about change something is coming to an end that enables some kind of change your future self wants you to know that you're safe you can be safe emotionally but it's maybe about having good boundaries for yourself as well because the crab protects itself. Something is balancing out here so that it's a better outcome for you. It's all about balance for this group. Equal give and take, especially if you've been giving to a situation where you're not receiving anything back. Your future self wants you to know that there's no good in that. Nothing is going to come of you giving and not receive, like giving to something where you're not receiving. You will always get back what you give out to the universe, but not necessarily from the same source that you're giving to, if that makes sense. You will always be rewarded, but it's like, don't put your energy into something where you're not getting back. Because um, your future self wants you to know you are worth receiving love, abundance and everything that you want. There is a new beginning coming from for you once you can release this. It's a kind of similar message to Pile 2 but a bit different because I feel for this group, this is a spiritual group. You know, more of a spiritual group. Um, soul family. I kept saying you're going to meet your soul tribe. You will. You're, this is a group that is going through a spiritual awakening. You may not be working as a reader or anything like that, and that may not be your path, but you are meant to meet your soul family 
um, in this lifetime and connect to them. And, you know, you are meant to be doing something to do with expressing your gifts in some way. <laughs> I knew it. Awakening. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being integration. So for this group, you are undergoing an awakening. And part of that is probably releasing old people from your life that don't add to your life. Or energetically, you've moved out of alignment with these people because as you raise your vibration, the people around you may just suddenly leave your life. It may make you feel very lonely. You may realize that nothing is gonna come of those friendships, that job or that relationship. Because as you're leveling up, it can feel lonely, but people get moved moved out of your life but eventually new people come in so don't worry I've gone through this several times with every kind of awakening you go through either the people in your life re who remain are a similar vibration to you anyway or there's still lessons you can learn from each other but if not if you've evolved past them they'll go out and new people will come in it's just a cyclical thing you have to just trust that it's going to work out um but I recommend watching my video on soul connections I don't know whether I already said this to this group but I'm feeling it Final card for group three. Time for a nap. You'll be getting energetic upgrades in your sleep. Um, you may get very important dreams, but also you need to take a rest because as you are having an awakening, it does take a toll on the body as well. And I think I got things to do with the immune system and um, arthritis and things like that. So, you know, it could just be that you're getting ascension symptoms in your body as you're undergoing the awakening. Uh, please like the video for the energy exchange and if you want a personal reading book soon because I'll be taking a break over Christmas and um, Please comment for a chance to win a free reading when I get to 3,000 subscribers That's all I have time for sending you guys much love light and positivity. I hope you have a great Christmas much love and take care